Hi everyone, a very very good evening. So, gate chemistry would not be complete without a strategy video on gate examination. So, it's not exactly a strategy video, but uh, it's somewhat related to strategy. Okay, I'll talk about what this video contains. And uh, I would like to give a special shout out to Anmol. Uh, he had persistently requested me to uh, make a video uh, based on Gate 2023 examination, like the strategy video or the important topics per se. And uh, so finally, the shackles have been broken and I've come up with a video after a couple of months. All right. Now, uh, coming to this video. So like I said, it is not a strategy strategy video there are many strategy videos that i have made over the past few years and i will give you the link to that playlist down in the description box so if in case any one of you wants to watch that you can because more or less the major topics uh, or the fundamental topics that are asked for any entrance examination remain the same and i have covered them in the past as well this is more of a speculation okay i am not an examiner per se but I have a lot of experience over the past few years for, uh, related to this exam or pertaining to this exam. So uh, it's it's a speculation of what might be the important topics or what might be some topics that you might have missed out. So that is what uh, I am going to cover. I'm going to highlight those topics, right? So apart from all the fundamental topics, like I said, like spectroscopy, be it physical spectroscopy, NMR or organic spectroscopy, NMR, mass, IR, um, or quantum chemistry, particularly commutator, particle in 1D box, uh, you know, um, ha Hamiltonian, Hermitian operators. So apart from all the fundamental topics, thermodynamics, what, whatever fundamental topics are there, apart from that, uh, based on the analysis of examinations 2018, 19, 20, 21 and 22, so these five year exams and the GATE 2015 examination, which was also conducted by IIT Kanpur. So let me clarify that if an examination is conducted by a particular IIT, it does not mean that the examination is in particular set by the professors of that IIT only. It could be specialists from different IITs also and ISCs, right? Uh, so it does not mean that the paper was set by IIT Kanpur. IIT Kanpur. It is being conducted by IIT Kanpur. So 2015 and 2023, but it gives you a you can say a window into their quality on what kind of questions do they prefer. Okay, so I analyze the 2015 paper. That's how I generally analyze the paper and make the strategy. So uh, anyway, now let's uh, come to the topics uh, which might be important for the examination. Apart from, again, I'm repeating, I'm emphasizing because it's very important. It's not that only these topics are going to be asked, but these are some of the topics which are quite miscellaneous or which might be missed out. So I just want to highlight those topics so that in the last four or five days, you can just go through them if you have already prepared. So one is cluster chemistry, okay, uh, particularly uh, the geometry of clusters and like for example, nidoborane, arachnoborane. So those kind of concepts have not been asked in a couple of years. So you might expect something of that sort. Uh, please do all uh, important reagents which lead to reduction of caramel compounds. Okay, like for example, alpha beta unsaturated uh, ketone, uh, right, or alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde, how can we specifically reduce only the alkene, how can we specifically reduce only the carbonyl compound, then how to reduce carboxylic acids, what are the specific reagents or chemoselective reagents which reduce, uh, um, you know, ketones or esters, all those con kind of concepts. Then if we are reducing an alkyne, then uh, what kind of reagents give cis alkene, what kind of reagents give trans alkene selectively, right, those things you need to consider. Then uh, over the years, I've seen, um, I haven't seen questions on acidity and basicity. So that is also something that you might be ex uh, expecting. Then geometry of coordination compounds, right? For example, if the coordination compound is given either the vespertory part or in general, you know, uh, uh, it could be related to giant error distortion that how giant error distortion uh, would change the geometry of a coordination compound. So something related to the geometry of coordination compounds. Then coupling reactions is something that I have seen is favorite of examiners over the years. So you can expect uh, uh, from coupling reaction and particularly heck coupling. Okay, because the mechanistic part of heck coupling is different than let's say Suzuki reaction or uh, you know Hiyama coupling or different or other coupling reactions. Right. So heck coupling is something that you need to specifically. Uh, uh, I feel give a little bit weightage. Again, I'm repeating. This is something that you have already you already done your preparation, and these are the last minute topics that you just want to revise. Okay, if you haven't uh, really done the preparation, then then I'm not sure how useful would this video be for you. 
then coming to quantum a lot of people end up doing the quantum aspect like the operators uh, and the particle in 1d 2d 3d box and all the other aspects right wave functions and stuff but uh, we forget forget the atomic structure part that is the one that comes before the quantum actually starts that is the bohr's model uh, de broglie wavelength so some numerical kind of questions can come from that concept so just make sure that you do the um, the, do the formulas at least you are aware of the formula right you should not be uh, completely caught unaware and also colligative properties this is something that i seen in 2021 but in 2022 examination it was not there so again you can expect some questions from colligative properties like vapor pressure um, you know um, osmotic pressure and all those concepts um, then we have burst reduction this is again one very very um, popular name reaction uh, that you see in gate and net and i haven't seen any particular question as such from burst reduction and even if there was a question burst reduction is something that you do see um, very frequent in the examination so make sure that you do not skip this uh, particular name reaction and then we have beer lambert's law okay um, again something just you should have a basic essence of what exactly is beer lambert's law and the formula right then term symbols and oracle diagrams and the like what kind of uh, uh, transitions are favorable and what kind of uh, uh, transitions are disallowed right so those concepts uh, is uh, you should be uh, again familiar familiarize yourself with uh, entropy of mixture of gases this is a question that is favorite in the gate exam that uh, if two gases are given let's say ideal gases what will be the entropy of mixing okay <clears throat> then in uh, name reactions we have rearrangement reaction and in particular you can do rearrangement reaction that are given in Clayton for example <coughs> there's a chapter in Clayton on rearrangement reactions like dynon, um, then pinacore, pinaclone, uh, Wagner, Mirwin, Beckman rearrangement, right? So please make sure that gate again. I've seen in gate examination they uh, give special emphasis to rearrangement reactions because it is easier to frame the options for the multiple choice questions. So make sure that you do rearrangement reactions really well. Like uh, you should have a very good grip over rearrangement reactions, at least the ones that are very commonly known and you can find in Clayton also in the rearrangement chapter. And then we have solid state in solid state particularly like calculation of density and bragg's law all those numericals are frequently asked but apart from that do not forget uh, to do radius ratio like if you have a bcc and an fcc what is like what is the ratio of the uh, radius to the edge length and uh, defects like frankel and Schottky defect again something that you might miss out so make sure you do this and something related to this is spinals. This is something again I have not seen in gate examination over the past few years that is inverse and normal spinal. So make sure you do that as well. Um, in kinetics, it's it's a fundamental topic. I've just included because uh, like Michael's maintain is something that I always see a question on. But anyway, it's a fundamental topic, you have to do it. Then app applications of decaline and cyclohexane system. So you should be at least aware of the uh, cis and trans decaline uh, geometries and in cyclohexane like in in chair conformation what is axial what is equatorial uh, because a lot of applications of this particular geometry of cyclohexane and decaline can be asked in the exam and then this concept enantiomeric excess this is something that i have not seen uh, being asked and a good question can be framed a two marker can be framed from this so make sure you do not miss out enantiomeric excess uh, apart from that, neighboring group participation, very important. Uh, metal carbonyls, again, uh, a favorite topic of examiners, be it in GATE or CSR or any other competitive exam. Uh, so, but I think I have not seen this question a lot in, in the last couple of years. So make sure you do metal carbonyls pretty, pretty well. Um, lanthanides and actinides uh, is something which is uh, um, very frequently asked in CSR net. And I feel that, again, you will see more and more questions in the gate exam also that is that, that is why i have mentioned over here now orga organometallics is another fundamental topic uh, but i have included it over here because in in the last exam in the gate 2020 exam i did not see a lot of questions from organometallics mm -hmm. right so so i i presume that this time there will be at least two or three questions from organometallics and um, and that is why i have listed down it over, listed it over here particularly from the mechanistic aspect like either could be from oxidative addition, reductive elimination, or uh, could be from the uh, catalysis part, like one cent to acetic acid synthesis, 
that what is the process or what is the active catalyst in this process okay those kind of questions and then again you should be uh, aware of the basic formula of rotational partition function and uh, uh, different kinds of like rotational translational like just the formulas okay don't go into the depth if you have time you can go into the depth but again partition functions is something that you could do uh, again an NAT could be asked on this topic uh, charge transfer is something that I saw a lot of questions in 2015 so based on that I'm presuming there might be some questions in the 2023 exam also because it has been conducted by the same IIT so they might have a bias for questions from charge transfer again I do not know what is the procedure actually uh, uh, of conducting exams or who sets the question papers I just know that it uh, like I like well, that's what I've heard from my seniors or when I was talking to my colleagues that uh, like experts from different IITs and ISC send their questions and then an expert com committee of the IIT which is conducting the exam selects the questions and then they are um, and, then, and then they are assorted or randomized and then you know question paper sets are made um, so that's the gen general process so I guess they might have a bias for charge transfer because there were two questions in 2015 particularly from just from charge transfer complexes and then we have Carnot engine again basic formula you should be aware of and uh, EPR and MOS bar okay so in spectros spectroscopy we tend to sometimes uh, leave out EPR and MOS bar so make sure again at least the fundamentals and basics of EPR and MOS bar you should be aware of so that if a straightforward question does come and in gate exams majority of times either a question is very straightforward or a question is very complicated now if a complicated question comes from this topic then hard luck but at least if a straightforward question does come then you should be able to answer it right and then in the end we have radiation uh, in radiation particularly just make sure that you know what happens when alpha particles are radiated what happens when beta particles are radiated sometimes the flow chart comes that one alpha particle is eliminated from a particular isotope and then a beta particle is eliminated so what would be the isotope what would be the formula of that isotope right so those kind for those kind of questions you should just be aware of what happens when an alpha particle is emitted and what happens when a beta particle is eliminated and then deals alder and photochemistry again very important topics and at last there were a few new topics that were introduced in gate 2021 that is i've listed down a few of them which i remember that is baylor twist a drop isomers and saddle point so since these are new topics this might also be included in the exam i have a short video on all these on baylor twist and a drop isomers but i don't have a video on saddle point but i think you will find plenty of content on saddle point also okay so anyway, uh, I hope this video was helpful to you. Um, thank you so much for uh, watching and giving your time and all the very best for the exam. And I really, really uh, wish and hope that from now on I would be regular and I would bring to you some good and exotic content on this channel. Thank you and all the very best. Take care. Bye-bye.